It's Thursday morning and I'm starting it like I start every other morning with a nice long walk. Usually it just helps me clear my head. Sometimes I'll listen to music or a podcast, but oftentimes I'll just walk in silence to get a cup of coffee. I usually go to a local uh, cafe, but today I was feeling like Starbucks. I got a soda water and a dark roast coffee and I was off to go back home. I met up with my old roommate slash best friend and we went thrift shopping. I found a beautiful painting and some cool brass vintage stuff. We live on Vancouver Island and it's arguably one of the most beautiful places in Canada, if not the world. We started to get hungry, so we decided to get lunch at a local grocery store called Red Barn. So this is the cabin she lives in now, it's beautiful. All right, so this is today's lunch ingredients. Basically, we got some greens there. We got the meat sticks for protein. We got the chips and stuff with the guac for carbs and some healthy fats. Simone's making the guacamole here. Scenic view of her cabin. And we spent the afternoon sitting outside, eating lunch, chatting, and studying. Why did you move into a cabin in the woods? Welcome to my, my crib. Um, there's a lot of reasons why I moved. One of the reasons I moved here was because I wanted to find a balance between like living far away and the city life. And I was thinking about van life, but even after just moving all my stuff in here, I realized I don't think I can live in a van. I have a lot of stuff. <laughs> so this is a good compromise and it's affordable and I want to kind of veer away from capitalism but you know I don't want to go full force either. I want to find a good balance and it's just so beautiful here so why not? It really is. And you're how close to downtown? 25 minutes. Nice. Yeah. And there's so, some chickens behind us. Yeah you can hear them skulking away. <sighs> Her family dog got the most horrid haircut. It used to be really, really fluffy and now it's shaved to the skin. We spent the rest of the day walking around her neighborhood. Lots of beautiful homes with horses and sheep and all kinds of animals and so peaceful. It's so nice to just walk deeper and deeper into nature. You just feel more calm as time passes. Anyway, I'm really proud of her and it took a lot of courage for her to move out to the middle of nowhere by herself, but she's doing it and I couldn't be more excited for Simone.